Welcome to this episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. But I'm really looking forward to critiquing your designs here on this episode. I've got a whole bunch of really, really cool ones, some bad ones, but we'll get to that in a minute. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get involved with these episodes, if you want to submit your designs, the link is in the description for you to do that. Now, let me just quickly say before I get right into it, I split this up into three different categories. I first tell you what I think. I first tell you the marketing that, you know, kind of works with your design. And then I tell you potential improvements that you should make. So without further ado and without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. So this first one, we've got a what looks like a cat that is in space and it says to infinity and beyond now we were talking about this a bit earlier in a previous video and the saying to infinity and beyond is that going to be okay to use on a t-shirt i don't know it's from toy story it's a very very famous quote so will it be allowed i don't know there's no Buzz Lightyear, there's no Toy Story, there's nothing like that, but there is a very obvious reference. So in terms of that, it could be a copyright infringement sort of situation going on here. In terms of targeting though, and by the way, the design, I do like the design, it's a cool design. Uh, I'm not such a fan of the white black graphic. I think you can make it a bit more into the picture. Um, but in terms of targeting here, you've got, well, it looks like a cat and space and potentially Toy Story. So those are three levels of targeting you can go for there. And in terms of improvements, um, you want to move the design up so it's more on the chest. I'm going to say that a billion times. I just know it. But you want to move the design up. And as well as that, you want to maybe choose a different picture. I'm not such a fan of that picture. It's just very clip art, black and white. And then you've got a really fancy to infinity and beyond. So the 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 level of professionalism with this design doesn't really flow. There's some bits that are really good and some bits that are really bad. Okay, moving on. Look at these huge pecs. I don't know if I like that. Firstly, once again, move the whole design up so that the look at starts over here, not over here, because at the moment it's looking at the huge belly. Um, so yeah, I mean, in terms of design, it's very simple. I would change the look at these to the same kind of font as pecs, or at least the same kind of I know it's the same font, but the same, you know, yellow see-through, or at least the same yellow as the huge. There's no reason to have black in there. It just doesn't really flow. It doesn't go. Um, in terms of targeting, though, you would probably just target people who like the gym, but specifically people who like to work on their pecs. So people who like doing these kind of exercises. What are they called? Um, um, I don't know. For some reason I can't remember. But anyways, that's kind of what you want to, that's who you want to focus on. You want to focus on gym goers. And if you want to go even more targeted, you want to focus on the specific exercises that work on your pecs. In terms of improvements, I would literally just say, you know, do the, uh, change the look at these to yellow and you're, you're good to go. And also move it up and you're good to go. Right, moving on to the next one. No fear, no limits, no excuses. All right, I don't see anything wrong with this shirt. Um, there is also no audience so there's that um but i guess the design is okay i would instead of having black writing i would have white writing on it so it looks like or maybe even gray writing whatever the color of the t-shirt is that would be the writing underneath so just cut out the words and that way the t-shirt color shows through um but in terms of who you would target i have absolutely no idea who you would target with this design literally no idea um and then in terms of improvements, I think you just need to dial down your targeting just a tiny bit. That's all. Because I, I, I don't know who this is targeting. Social distancing influencer. What does that mean? What's a social distancing influencer? Is that like an influencer who promotes social distancing? I don't know. And also, he's wearing like two t-shirts. Going, on. I don't know what this undertop is, but that's really distracting. Um, I'm not such a fan of this design. Um, sorry. I, I don't know who you would target. And I don't really know what improvements to make. The, the, there's the stark contrast of the two different fonts you've got going on is kind of annoying. And also, I don't understand the message of the t-shirt, but it could have just gone straight over my head. Who knows? Moving on. 
Okay, wow, it's a, it's a big quote from Thomas Paine. If I don't believe as you believe, it proves that you don't believe as I believe, and that is all that it proves. What? That is far too confusing for a t-shirt, and what makes it so much worse is the round circles. I don't know. Yeah, the ra- Okay, get rid of the round circles, firstly. This quote is way too long for a t-shirt because think of it like this. Anyone reading that t-shirt means they're staring at this woman's breast for far too long. And that's just awkward. So you've got a lot going on on this t-shirt. It's basically an essay to to read. And as well as that, the, the, this, this circle, you know, bullseye design is making the reading even harder to the point where someone is literally going to be doing this. You know, like proper squinting at this woman's boobs. So that doesn't help. And, uh... That's going to cause some upset, especially for the woman. So let's move on. It is fine. I am fine. Everything is fine. Okay. What to say about this design? Well, you've whittled it down to two fonts, so that's good. You haven't gone overboard with the fonts. Um, I don't like the fonts. I like the everything is font. That's a really good font. And if if you're watching this video, let me know what font that is in the comments, because I actually really like that font. I'd love to use it. Um, It's a very good font. I don't like the it is fine, I am fine, and fine. I don't like that font. Um, And I also, I don't really understand who you're targeting here. Um, It could be, I mean, mental health stuff. If it's mental health stuff, then then I get that. You know, that's that's cool. Um, But, like, there's things you can do to, like, improve. For example, you've got the spacing between this F and this F. It's not centered. Like, you want to have it centered. You, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not such a fan of this. It's I just see the word fine like a thousand times. It just looks like a the shirt just says fine all over it. Okay, we're getting through quite a lot of designs. This is good. We're on the seventh design, so we are powering through. All right, leaf me alone with a picture of a leaf. This is cool. This is really cool. I like this actually. Um, you've got the centering right. I like the font of leaf me alone. Um, it's very like not childish, but it's very like crayony like crayon is not a word but it looks like it's been done by crayon um but it's a really cool design and i assume i assume you would target people like vegans or vegetarians people who like plants people who are into the climate um and all of that kind of stuff and yeah and there's your targeting in terms of improvements maybe make the leaf just a tiny bit smaller and maybe pick a better graphic leaf this is just a bit it's two straight edges like you can see here it's got like it's too perfect this leaf right so and i don't like the gaps maybe do a leaf with no gaps that could be better okay i prefer my jokes in the dad category it's not a bad it's not a bad design it's easy to target you can target fathers you can target uh, especially parents who have just had a baby so they're new parents so they would like these gimmicky kind of t-shirts um, you've done the fonts right. I like the I prefer my jokes. The only thing I would say is it's quite hard to read. So when it's on someone or when someone's wearing it, the I prefer my jokes is very small. And the type of font, the lines are so thin. I know you've got thick lines, but also thin lines. It's quite hard to read. But I mean, in terms of you know targeting, you've got that spot on. And improvements, I would just say maybe make the I prefer my jokes a bit bigger or maybe make the whole design a bit bigger. It's, it's a very small design. Um, and yeah, it's really, really good. I really like this. So well done. Downward dog. This can't be right. <laughs> That's actually really funny. So this is clearly a yoga, a yoga inspired t-shirt going on here. You've got the yoga mat. You've got, looks like shorts, sandals, uh, sports bra. And then like, you know, a yoga position, downward dog. But it's funny that it's a picture of a dog and this can't be right. Dot, dot. Uh, I remember reading the email where you said you're into these kind of jokey t-shirts for the yoga niche. And I actually really, really like it. I think you've got a lot, a long way. Like you, you're you going to go far with this. I really do think so. And there are so many yoga people I know that would wear this in a heartbeat. The only thing I would say is make the dog a tiny bit smaller, center it, and then make the, this can't be right just a tiny bit bigger. But other than that, you are spot on. This is a brilliant, brilliant design. It's really funny. Okay, surfs up. Modern streets. These streets are ours. Modern streets are along the side. And then this very 
very cool logo. Did who, whoever did this, did you design this? If you did, let me know in the comments if this is yours and you designed this from scratch because look, if this is a playset picture, then okay, fine. But if this is something you designed, then holy crap, you are an incredible, incredible artist. This is amazing. And you know, I kind of like that. This is also going, has, has all the, the, the trash and the rubbish in the, in the water because it's spreading awareness as well. I really like that. You could easily target um, groups that try and clean uh, the sea and that kind of stuff, ocean cleaning groups, stuff like that. But in terms of the design, really good. You can target people who are surfers. You can target people who are into, you know, keeping the waters clean. But it is, it is a really cool design. Excellent piece of artwork. I love it. Only thing better than grilling with a only thing better than grilling with a beer is grilling with my daughter. That's cute. That's that's cute. I mean you can <sighs> Look, it's it's the only thing the only thing is there's a lot of words, there's a lot of text. It's hard to read. Straight off the bat, I don't know why the better and the with are the big words here, right? Are the words that are exaggerated here. Only thing is quite hard. Um, and then, look, the, the saying is really, really good. Only thing better than grilling with the beer. It's grilling with my... That's a brilliant, brilliant phrase. I would design something better around that phrase. Um, and your targeting is spot on. I mean, you're going to be able to target fathers who have daughters and as well as that, fathers who have, have new daughters or have daughters of a certain age. So that's that's solid. That's straight on point there. Okay, we are nearly 12 minutes in. So let's continue. Ambition, challenge, vision, skill, excellence, practice, believe, courage, accomplish, sim smile. Basketball. That's cute. I like that a lot. I do like that a lot. You know, that's a really, really good design. It's a really good design. I reckon you could target anyone, you know, into basketball, college, out of college, primary school. I feel like the older you get, you might not want to wear it because it's just a bit naff. Um, these designs kind of, that's what print on demand is. It's very like naff designs. Um, but it's very, it's very cool. Um, I don't, the smile, I think you could do something better than smile. Um, but believe, practice, excellent skill, and vision, challenge, ambition, accomplish, courage. That's that's all really, really good. Really, really good design. You got a lot of you got a lot going for this design. I have to say, I can't really think of improvements except for maybe try and think of another word for smile. It just doesn't really seem to go with all the other motivational words. Meteor watch day. Um, no, those don't look like meteors. They look like. They look like flying zits. Oh gosh. Um, I'm not, I like the font. The font is really, really cool. I like that you've gone that extra mile and gone inside the font for some and outside the font for others. So nice work there. Really cool. Um, I don't like the font though. And I don't like the color of the font. It's like a weird gold kind of color, which is clashing with the yellowy red orange of the flying zits, which I'm now going to call them. Um, you've placed it very well on the on the thing uh, you're going to target people who are into maybe astrology um anyone into anything to do with space or meteors or anything like that but even then i don't think people would buy it based on the design maybe change the color of meteor watch day to white and then it, it could be a bit better then it could be a bit better and maybe have little meteors inside the zits the flying zits and you should be you should be good to go I read a comment on a previous video that people, someone was saying I'm being too nice all of a sudden in these videos. And I don't actually know why, but I have noticed that I'm, I'm being a lot more reserved when I review these shirts. I, I, could, I could easily, you know, just go to town on some of them, but I started to not do that. Anyways, moving on to the final design because we are 15 minutes into this episode and I don't want to keep you for too long. And we've also done a solid... How many designs have we done? 14 in one episode. That's amazing. Okay, final design, Halloween one. This is a really cool. So does, isn't this like that that movie or that that art, the the midnight thingy guy? I don't remember his name, but I know it's I know someone knows. If someone knows, let me know in the comments down below. But 
is, is would this be considered copyright i don't know if not it's a really cool design i really really like it in fact i would actually wear this it's a very very cool halloween design um again it's 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 hitting on the halloween trend so that's your targeting right you don't have a specific niche to target you're just targeting halloween so hopefully you get sales that way but it's, it's not going to be evergreen like as soon as halloween is over you're going to stop getting sales in fact you're probably going to stop getting sales any time now because it takes two weeks to get something from Redbubble and people aren't going to order this for delivery after Halloween. Makes no sense. But in terms of a Halloween design, it's really, really class. I really like it. And I would say I can't think of a single improvement. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right. That is it for today's episode. I will be doing obviously another episode next Saturday. Let me know in the comments down below if you're actually liking these Are Your Design Any Good episodes. Um... I just realized I forgot to do the intro music. I will do it at the end. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, because I don't know if people are still enjoying them. Let me know if you can think of any improvements to this to these episodes or any advice that you actually have. I am all ears. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, see you in the next video.